Hola chicos, welcome kids. I'm Alex and today we're working with our legs, with our feet. It's interesting because last time we were working upside down, we were on our head. So today it's important to come back to grounding ourselves on our feet, feeling the ground under our feet. We'll be stretching the legs, the front, the back of the legs. We'll be moving into things like splits, full splits. Espangato. So I know that that's not accessible to a lot of people. Uh, sometimes kids find it easier because they haven't um, built that stiffness in their body yet. Uh, but whatever happens, we, we are content. That's the lesson today, contentment, feeling good about where we are and feeling that sense of appreciation for everything we have in our life and for everything our body can do, no matter where it is. We're not comparing ourselves, we're just appreciating who we are, where we are, and the magical body that we have to go to places and to do amazing things. So we'll start at the front of our mat, or the space that we're using. We'll keep our feet hip distance apart, so we're standing up tall, pressing the feet down and reaching up through the back of our head. Remember to keep your arms strong and straight, to pull your shoulders back and to relax your face. Close your eyes and feel the sense of the ground under your feet. Concentrate, focus on the contact of your feet with the ground and press the balls of the feet down and the heels of the feet down. So the front part of the feet, right behind your toes, pushes down both the part behind the big toes and the part behind the pinky toes. Push down into those points and then find the bone, the heel bone, and press it down. Press your heels down onto the ground. The more we push down with the feet, the more we feel the support of the earth reaching us up to the sky. So press down into your feet and remember that we want to pull up and engage through the whole body. Find a comfortable breath. Bring your hands to your lower belly, breathe into the lower belly, fill it with air and breathe out slowly. Remember to relax the muscles of your face, breathe into the lower belly slowly and breathe out slowly. Again, breathe into the lower belly, press the feet down, feel tall and breathe out, keep pressing the feet down, keep reaching up through the back of your head. One more time, breathe into the lower belly and breathe out, keep pressing down into the feet and keep the integrity of your stance. Stand up tall. Release your arms by your side. This is mountain pose, so we're standing up tall like a mountain and we're pushing down strongly to find that strong, erect body. Open your eyes, we'll go for our sun salutations, but we'll take a breath in between each movement. So press your feet down, bring in and bring your hands forward and up, really reach up, maybe even back, breathe out, press the feet down, keep reaching up, breathe in, stay here, and breathe out, come forward. Fold over your legs, breathe in and stay here, see if you can have your legs straight and breathe out, see if you can come a bit lower, feel the stretch at the back of the legs. Breathe in and bring your right foot back, the knee down, push your hips forward and breathe out, stay here, keep the hips forward, open the chest, breathe in. And then breathe out, come back to your knees, chest 
and chin. Stay here as you breathe in and stay here as you breathe out. Breathe in and pull yourself forward, press the feet down, open up the chest. Stay here for the breath. Breathe in again, keep the chest proud, pull the shoulders back and breathe out, push back to your dog position. Send your hips up and back. Breathe in here, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Breathe out here, push up way through the hands. Breathe in and bring your right foot forward, the left knee down, and breathe out, stay again. Push your hips forward, open up the chest. Breathe in, and breathe out, come to the front. Fold over the legs, fold forward, breathe in here, and breathe out here. Press the feet down, breathe in and come up, all the way up, open up. Stay here as you breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out, bring your hands by your sides. Press the feet down, concentrate on standing up tall. And then we'll do the other side. Breathe in, bring the hands up, reach up, open the chest. Breathe out, keep pressing the feet down to open the chest. Breathe in and reach further up, further back through the hands. And breathe out, come forward. Follow your breath, breathe slowly. Breathe in here, maybe reach your pubic bone up, the front of the pelvis up. And breathe out, maybe come a bit lower. Breathe in, bring your left foot back, the knee down, push the hips forward. And breathe out, keep opening the chest. Breathing. And breathe out, come back to your knees, chest, and chin. Breathe in here. And breathe out here. Breathe into your snake position, press the feet down, open the chest. And breathe out, stay here, keep pressing the feet down. Activate your glutes, the back of the legs. Breathe in. And breathe out. Push. Reach the hips up and away. Breathe in. And breathe out. Keep pushing away. Straighten your arms, your legs. Breathe in. Bring your left foot forward. The right knee down. The hips forward. And breathe out, keep pushing the hips forward, stretching the front of the leg. Breathe in. And breathe out, come forward, fold over your legs. Stay as you breathe in, maybe bring your weight further forward, feel that you're working with the front of the legs, stretching the back, breathe out. And then breathe in, press the feet down to come up, open the chest, and breathe out. Hands down by your sides. Good. Let's play a bit with our hips again. So remember the tree position. You want to start with the flamingo position, bringing the knee up. Bring the knee even further up if you can. Bring the foot in. Now from here, you can stay here or you can open the hip and bring your feet down by the side of the leg. If you need to hold on to a wall, hold on to a wall. Bring your hands to your chest and breathe. As you breathe in, keep reaching up through the back of the head. And as you breathe out, keep pressing down the foot, straight and the standing leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, bring the knee forward if it's not there, and breathe out, bring the foot down. Hands down, other side. Open the, well, no, bring the knee up, bring the knee up. Just like a flamingo, press down into the foot. And then open the hip if you want to go to tree position. Do what you did on the other side. Hands to the chest. Grab onto something if you need to. And breathe. 
again, find more length. Breathe out, press down into the foot. Feel strong and stable. Breathe in, connect with that ground so that you feel the earth. Press down. As you breathe out, feel that you're lifting up. Keep your standing legs straight. Breathe in and bring the knee back to your flamingo position. And breathe out, bring the foot down. Good. We'll do some more stretches. We'll do the pyramid pose. So we will breathe in and we'll open up the feet and turn towards the back to face the right leg. We'll keep the left heel down, straight legs. We will open up the chest and breathe out, come forward. You can grab onto your shin or come all the way down and bring your chin towards your shin. Breathe in, activate the front of the leg and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep pressing the feet down. Activate your glutes, strong glutes. Breathe in and breathe out. Good job. Breathe in, press the feet down. Come up all the way and turn to the front. So turn the back toes in. Straighten the legs. Face the front and breathe out. Come down again. Grab onto the leg at any point or go for the ground. Breathe in and breathe out. Press the feet down strongly again. Feel the strength of the legs. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Keep pressing the feet down. Keep your belly engaged. Breathe out. Hold a bit more. Press the feet down, breathe in, come up slowly, pressing the feet down and breathe out, come to the front. Good. Let's do our warrior positions, strong positions with the legs. So you will breathe in and you will bring the right foot back all the way. You will turn to the back and bend the knee. The more you open the legs apart, the harder it is. So you choose how low you want to go. Keep the front knee over the heel and keep lowering with the belly in, reaching up and bring your hands up. This is warrior one. Breathe in into your warrior. Breathe out, maybe come a bit lower. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Keep the belly strong. Look at, look at your feet, straighten your legs and come to the front side. Try to keep looking up. It's a challenge for the balance and you need to keep the legs strong. So do it on the other side now. Breathe in and breathe out. Maybe come a bit lower. Keep the front knee over the heel. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep pressing the back foot down. Activate your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out, stay here, keep the arms straight, reaching up. Breathe in and open, straighten the legs, open the arms to the sides. Bring your hands to your hips and breathe out, fold forward. Keep coming forward, 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 and then bring your hands to the ground. Walk your hands slightly back, breathe in, open the chest. And breathe out, pull your body towards the hands. You can move the hands back to come closer to the ground. Breathe in here. And breathe out, keep shifting your weight forward. Press the balls of the feet down. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull your rib cage all the way down to the ground. Maybe your head touches the ground, maybe not. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and come up. Breathe out, stay. And breathe in, come all the way up. Hands to your hips. Let's go for the warrior two position. Breathe in and open your right leg to the side and bend the knee while you're facing forward. So keep your legs apart. Keep the front knee bent. Open up the arms and gaze forward. This is a warrior ready for battle. So breathe in. 
and breathe out, maybe lower a bit more, keep the front knee over the heel, but maybe open the legs wider, breathe in, breathe out, press the feet down, feel the legs working, breathe in, and breathe out, press down into the feet, straighten the legs, and come to the other way, bend the left knee now, and breath, breathe. Strong legs, strong core. Begin press the feet down. Breathe out slowly, keep grounding down through the feet. Breathe in and reach the arms away, but keep your shoulders back. Breathe out and keep the head tall. Breathe in, straighten the legs again. Come to the center, so you're facing the side. Press down into the outer feet, breathing, and breathe out, fold forward. Grab the big toes, or again, bring your hands to the ground, breathing, and breathe out, pull yourself closer to the ground, breathing, breathe out, breathing, straighten the legs, breathe out. Keep the pubic bone coming up. It breathing. And breathe out. Pull the belly in. Breathe in. Open up the chest. And breathe out. Stay here. Breathe in. Come up with the strength of your legs. The strength of, the strength of your core. And breathe out. Come to the front of the mat. Good job. Let's open up our legs a bit more with lizard position. So we'll be lizards now. Press the feet up, breathe in and bring the arms up first. Open up the chest, breathe out and come forward. Fold over the legs. Breathe in, open up. And then as you breathe out, just bring your right foot back and place the knee down. Now the first position will be um, a runner's position. So just like a runner, you have your hands on the ground. And from here, we want to play a bit with our hips. We bring the hips forward, to the side, to the back, to the other side, and forward. Side, back, maybe as you go back, you go a bit further back, other side, and forward. And then try the other way. So do circles, circles one way, and circles the other way. We're preparing our body for the lizard pose, which is a quite intense stretch. Okay, so make sure that you have right angles with the knees, with the hips. So you might have to bring the foot back slightly. And then from here, come up, bring your chin in and round your body. You want to feel the stretch at the front of the hip, the right hip. So keep your tailbone, remember when we're talking about the spine, the tailbone is tucking under, it's Folding in just like a sad dog, the tail comes under the legs. So feel that your tail is coming under, keep your belly in and up, and bring your head towards the knee. Breathe in, feel the stretch at the leg, breathe out. In and out. In, keep pressing the feet down, and breathe out. Breathe in and come up with a strong belly and breathe out. We will bring the foot forward and we'll push forward with the hips. Open the chest and here we go for the lizard. So you want to take the left foot to the left and bring both of your hands to the inside. Keep your foot out. So this is already a lizard position. You can stay here. If you want to make it harder, you tuck the back toes under and you straighten the leg. Keep the hips extended and breathe. If you want to go even deeper, then you can bring your elbows to the ground. This is optional, you don't have to be here. Stay with the modification you want. And breathe. Breathe in. And breathe out, send your heels back. Breathe in. 
Breathe out, press the left leg onto the body, breathe in. And breathe out, straighten the back leg even more, stretch it. Breathe in. And breathe out, bring the knee down and come back to this half splits position. So in yoga, the splits are called Hanumanasana. So it's the asana, the pose of Hanuman. Hanuman in India is the monkey goat. So this is the monkey goat position. Okay, we'll go slowly. First, you want to flex the foot and feel that you're contracting the left thigh. So feel that you're activating the front of the leg, the thigh, the quadriceps. That way you're extending the back of the leg, you're stretching the back. Press down into the foot, activate the leg. Breathe out, keep the belly strong, open the chest. Breathe in. Breathe out, keep the whole body engaged. And then breathe in and relax and take the foot slightly forward, not to split yet, just a small step. Press the feet down and activate the leg again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think of sending the pubic bone back, the front of the pelvis back. Breathe in. Open the chest. Breathe out. Okay, last breath here. Breathe in. Really press down into the feet. Feel that the leg is squeezing. It's active. It's strong. Breathe out. Stay strong. Really squeeze. And then breathe in, relax, and take the foot further to the front. Good. And breathe here. Breathe in, open the chest, flex the foot. Breathe out, activate the leg. Breathe in, really squeeze, really activate. Breathe out, feel that the whole body is shaking from the strength. So really squeeze the whole body. And then breathe in, relax, and go deeper. You want to go deeper into the splits, and breathe. Breathe in, and breathe out. And you can flex, contract, activate, breathe in, breathe out. Be patient, breathe in, breathe out, activate a bit more. And then with that activation, you relax and then you see if you can go deeper. So today you don't need to go into full splits, but if you're there, then take three breaths. Breathe in, breathe out, activate, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Maybe point through the feet, make it pretty, maybe bring the arms up, and then come out. To come out, we come out very slowly. We use the hands and we take the foot back. Knees down and find your child's position. Remember, we always come to child's position when we need to rest. We bring our forehead down. And today you can bring your hands by your feet. Maybe even give a massage to your feet. Show them some love. Good job. Now we'll go to the other side. Okay, let's do this. Let's come to hands and knees first. We'll do a cat cow flow. Remember the cat cow? So from neutral position, this is conic position, we uncurl the tailbone and we find the whole spine. The lower back starts to curl, the middle back starts to arch, the upper back, pull the shoulders back, bring the chin up, and then Tailbone under, pull the lower belly in, and push forward through the hands, round the middle back, the upper back, and bring the chin in. One more time, start with the tailbone, and curl, pull the lower belly in, pull the shoulders back, chin forward, chin up, and then start with the pelvis, just the pelvis curls in, tailbone in, lower part of the spine, Middle part of the spine, upper part of the spine, and bring the chin. One last time, cow position. 
So anchor the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, and then the cervical spine. Remember the parts of the spine, all the curves extending, and then curl the tailbone under, and then the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, the cervical spine. Push away, breathe in and breathe out. This is the angry cut position. Good. From the angry cut position, bring in, bring your right foot forward. And remember, we're starting with the with the runner. So from the runner position, see how I'm like a runner ready to run. Start to shift your hips to one side, to the back, to the other side, and the front. One side, back, other side, and the front. And then do circles. You can do circles the other way now, and straighten the front leg, and then bend it again. Breathe into it. Use your breath to feel a bit more relaxed. Okay. And before going to our lizard, we bring the foot back slightly, we press down, and we come up, hands to the thigh, shoulders back, chin in, and we round. Okay. Take three breaths here. Remember, we're breathing deeply and we're being present. Everything we learned in the previous classes, we apply it. So if there's anything going on in your head, that's normal, but keep coming back to your body, back to your breath. Calm yourself down and press down into the feet to feel more grounded. Pull the belly in and breathe in, come up. Good job. Breathe out, bring the foot forward, bring the arms to the inside for lizard position. Remember you can stay here. You want to feel a stretch at the left psoas. So the front of the left hip, the, lip, the hip flexor, that's the muscle that helps you to, to flex, to flex the, the hip in. Now, stretch that muscle on the left side. If you feel that you can go further, tuck the toes under straight and the legs, stretch it even more, reaching back through the heel, and maybe even come to the elbows. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep pressing the feet down, the right leg onto the body, the left heel back. Breathe in and breathe. Good. Slowly we'll come up and we'll come back to our half splits. So this is already a variation of splits. Flex the foot to feel that you're contracting the front of the leg. You're squeezing it so that the back opens. Keep reaching the pubic bone back to lengthen this group of muscles here, the hamstrings. And then press the knee down and keep reaching back through the hips. Keep pressing down through the left foot. Breathe in here in this half monkey god position. And breathe out, squeeze even more, pressing down into the feet. Breathe in. You can pull the belly in, open up the chest a bit more, that will help you to feel it even more and breathe out, squeeze a bit more. Good. And then from here, relax, breathe in, and take the foot just a bit forward. Remember, we're taking our time. We're going to do this three, four, five times. We want to be patient, and remember, we want to be content. Whatever we can do is perfect. So press down and use strength. Use work. Effort is important, so put effort. Press and squeeze. Keep breathing and keep squeezing the whole body. It feels like it's shaking, all your strength engaged. Breathing and breathe out. Good, and then you relax as you breathe in and you take the foot a bit further forward, the back knee a bit further back, but not to split yet even if you can do it. Press down into the feet, pull the belly in, open up the chest, and breathe out, keep squeezing. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. The whole body is engaged, but there's no need to squeeze the muscles of the face. Keep your face relaxed and the whole body engages. Breathe out. You then feel like you're shaking. And then you relax the body and you see if you can go further. And we'll go one more time. So press down into the feet, engage the legs, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Press down into the feet, the glutes, they're working, breathe in, keep squeezing the whole body, breathe out, squeeze a bit more, the body is trembling, shaking. And then breathe in, relax, and see if you can go into splits or into whatever variation you're going for. So keep the body engaged, front of the body engaged, chest engaged, breathing, and breathe out, in, out, whatever you're doing is perfect, breathing, and breathe out. Then maybe point, maybe bring the arms up, and let's come out of it. Good job. As I said, whatever you did is perfect. Now we're coming to child's pose. Send your hips back, chest forward, release, release. And breathe out. Bring your hands to your feet again. You can give yourself a massage, show yourself some love. Breathing into the lower belly, press it onto the feet, the thighs. Breathe out. Okay. Breathe in through the nose, and now breathe out through the mouth, just sigh it out, relax. Good job, everyone. Bring your hands by your thighs, and now from here we will push and we will bring the knees up to stretch the top of the feet, and breathe out, bring the knees down. Do your best, press the hands down and breathe in, try to bring the knees close to the body, press the feet down, the tops of the feet, and breathe out, and one more time, push, breathe in, and breathe out. Very well. Come to your crocodile position, where we're just lying on our belly. The heels are out, bring the forearms to the ground, and the forehead on top. Again, connect to your lower belly, and press the lower belly onto the ground, breathe in, Breathe out slowly through the nose. In. And breathe out slowly through the nose. Breathe out. And breathe out slowly through the mouth. Come to natural breath. Can watch what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and find a reason to feel good, to feel content. Think of everything that's going well in your life, rather than focusing on your problems, on your shortcomings. All of the things that need work are good things because they challenge us, they keep us on our toes, they keep us interested, curious, and ambitious to achieve something. So if you couldn't do the splits, for example, then that's something you can work towards. But always carefully, slowly, methodically. No rush, because if you rush, then you might break something. That's how it is in life. We go slowly with as much care as we can, so that we carefully achieve things with structure and with intelligence, skills. Turn around, we're going to finish with dynamic bridge. So bring your feet close to your hips. The bridge position is where you bring your hips up and you're creating a bridge with your body, as if there's a river under your hips and you're allowing a civilization of ants to just travel around to the other side of the river. You can think of it like that. If you don't like ants, think of some small animal that you like, and you allow those rabbits to just go up the bridge. 
of bring your hips down. So now dynamic bridge, you bring the hips up and the arms up, and it looks like this. You breathe in, you bring the hips up, the arms next to the ears, you breathe out, and you bring the hips down, arms by the body. Okay, do it three times. Breathe in, follow your breath, send your knees away, bring your chest to your chin, breathe out, keep your face relaxed, and keep the breath deep and slow. Breathe in. Follow your breath at the end of your breath, hands touch the ground and breathe out. Follow your breath at the end of the exhale, the hips and the hands come down. One more time. Beautiful. Bring your knees to your chest, hug your knees, show yourself some love. Again, take a second just to feel content with whatever you've done in the class and with everything you have in life. Feel appreciation, feel good, and breathe out through the mouth, calm down. You can do the happy baby position, bringing the knees closer to the ground. You can grab the shins or you can grab the feet and push, just like a happy baby. And then maybe rock a bit from side to side, maybe straighten one leg and then the other, or do anything you'd like to do before lying down for Shavasana, our relaxation. When you feel ready, when you feel that your happy baby was enough, you did what you needed to do, relax the face, relax the arms by the body, and breathe out through the mouth, relax everything. Just a minute here, resting. Allow yourself to be completely still. No movement at all. You're just relaxed and content, happy, grateful, appreciative. Relax and Feel good. Lying down, relax. Keep your eyes closed. And stay with that feeling of contentment, appreciation. Keeping your eyes closed. Again, notice the ground under your body, mother earth. Feel the support of the earth. And as you naturally breathe out, feel like earth is hacking your body. Surrender to that hack. Feel the love. Feel the support. That feeling of groundedness. Breathe deeply and fill the body up with energy, with love, with support, with contentment, happiness. Keep your 
your eyes closed and breathe in, start moving your feet, moving your hands, moving your head from side to side. And use your breath to accompany the movements with even more energy, even more life. Stretching the body, reaching out way through the arms, squeezing everything and at your own time, at your own pace, find a seated position, our cross-legged monkey position where we're sitting up, just like a proud little monkey sitting erect. Relax your face. We will finish with three lion's breaths. You know the lion's breaths. So as you breathe in, you will round your back. And as you breathe out, you'll press your chest forward, stick your tongue out and make a hissing sound. Okay, three times, breathe in. sit still and bring your hands to your chest palms together or simply touching the chest allow your head to bow down notice how you're feeling again hopefully a bit more grounded hopefully energized and strong but again there's no wrong answer how are you feeling what's going on right now. Come back to the reasons why you should be feeling good, the reasons why you can be content, your health is a reason, your family is a good reason, your body is a great reason, everything is done the last 30, 40 minutes, well done, it's amazing. So feel good about it, feel content, and feel appreciative, appreciate the fact that you're healthy. Because nowadays, a lot of people are sick. It's a weird time to be alive. And it's very important to acknowledge, to be aware of the importance and the gift that life is. So take a few breaths here, relaxed, just Focusing on what makes you happy and on everything you have to be appreciated about. And from that place of appreciation, we'll finish our practice saying Namaste, which means I bow to you, I see you. Thank you for the great work. Namaste. Namaste.